Step one is that you write your equation in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero for some a, b, and c. I'll explain this later in the example. Step two, you find the solution. We're pretty much there. You just, the solution is x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, all divided by 2a. x squared equals x plus 1. Well, okay then, we've got to do step 1. We've got to rearrange that into that special form that I was talking about before. So in particular, we want to write x squared minus x minus 1 equals 0. Okay, and so we want it in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. So in our case, a equals 1, b equals minus 1, and c equals minus 1. Okay, so now stage 2, we just use our quadratic formula. So is that x is equal to minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now we just chuck our numbers in. So is equal to minus b. Well, what's, what's b is minus 1. So minus minus 1 is plus 1. Plus or minus the square root of what's minus 1 squared. That's 1. What's a times c is minus 1 times 4 minus 4 minus minus 4 is plus 4 so plus 4 all divided by 2 we're, we're done there's just two possibilities x equals 1 plus the square root of 5 divided by 2 or x equals 1 minus the square root of 5 all divided by 2 so all you have to do to solve any quadratic equation is just to memorize this formula. So in professional mathematics, people just tend to use the quadratic formula every time. They don't worry about all the other stuff like completing the square, blah, blah, blah. And also the quadratic formula tells you a lot of other interesting information as well. For example, this thing here in the blue circle, if this is negative, maybe a teacher might tell you that that means the equation has no solution. Actually, that's not what it means. It means the solution is a complex number. Complex numbers are really, really interesting things, which I suggest you look up on Wikipedia.